Well, hello. Today we're making a tomato tart, an heirloom tomato tart. We're using puff pastry, so it's easy. You're supposed to thaw this overnight. I'm gonna figure out a way to do that. Hope is not lost. We use the microwave. Gently roll this out just a little bit more and trim off about three fourths to an inch off like this. Egg wash the entire thing, trust me. Now these guys are our sides that we're just gonna place right back on. More egg wash on your new pieces. Finish it up. And then about a half a cup of Parmesan in the center of the tart. This was a better idea. Now we get to dock it, which just means you get to poke holes in it. Not the edges, just the center. Bake 425 for about 15 minutes and then 350 for another 15 minutes. Maybe a little less, you gotta check it. And now for the star of the show, the tomatoes. We need to get some of the moisture out so our tart isn't too soggy. You place them on some paper towels. I got tomato on my pants and I don't wanna get any on my shirt. Salt these guys with a half a teaspoon of salt and let them sit while your tart shell bakes. We want the middle to be flat, so let the steam out. Ooh. Make sure your tomatoes are nice and dry, okay? In a small bowl, combine garlic, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Our warm tart, and then more chaise, mozzarella to be exact. Mm -hmm. Now, the tomatoes. Shingle them, which just means overlap them and put them on. Finally, your olive oil garlic mixture. Bake 425 for another 10, 15 minutes. Don't come at me, I didn't have basil, so I chopped up some fresh arugula. Before I cut into it, look at this crispy bottom. It's everything you could ever want. 